CataractCoach.com. Soft posterior subcapsular cataract. This technique can help ensure success even for a novice surgeon. So we have an anonymous resident who's operating three times normal speed, so we can watch the whole video. There's the paracentesis. You can see this cataract is all posterior subcapsular right there in the center. So resident's putting in some anesthetic inside the eye. The patient did also receive a retrobulbar injection. You can see good draping of the lashes. Here comes the dispersive viscoelastic going inside the eye. I'm going to make an extra paracentesis right there just so I can help if need be. Deepen up the anterior chamber a little bit. And sometimes it's tough for the resident to come across the eye and not flatten it. So we're going to put a little extra viscoelastic in the eye. There's the good wave. Good job. Get the pressure normal. Let's make that main incision. So this is a resident who has maybe about 30 cases of experience. And again, we're doing this together with the, with the professor here, making an incision. Let's see how that goes. That looks pretty reasonable. I'll take it. Now here comes the rexus. Going to aim for a nice 5 millimeter capsule rexus here. Centering up that eye, this is a cystotome. Now, I don't use a cystotome to do a capsorexis in general, but the residents like to, and hey, whatever floats your boat, whatever makes you happy, go for it. So here comes the rexis, we'll watch this. Again, this is in three times normal speed, so the total case was about 15 minutes in reality, and in the video here, it's only gonna be about five. So a little bit of a help for the resident to get that rexis started, so kind of explaining how to do things. And now grabbing it there, and good, good pivoting. I like the pivoting. Want to really exaggerate that pivot. Don't make a baby size rexus here. Good. And now trying again. And finishing that up. A little bit of instruction. Last little grab. Hopefully get this thing finished right up. And there you go. It's a rexus. Now here's the key technique. Ready? Hydrodissection and hydrodissection and hydrodissection. And watch. Get the nucleus up. Delineate it get it out of the capsule bag. And by doing this, it's gonna be very easy just to emulsify this thing. So fake a probe going in the eye, and you can see there's that cataract being split apart. But the key for the whole case is get that thing up out of the capsule bag. And now that the lens is up out of the capsule bag, it can be broken up in little small pieces and emulsified. So when the cataract is on this side of things, though very, very soft, not a lot of fake energy is needed. Not a lot of chopping is needed. But we can just emulsify this down. Yes, this is actually the resident using the phaco probe, and this is the attending using the chopper there just to ensure things go smoothly. So very nice coming out of the eye there. So in this type of soft posterior subcapsular cataract, it's not butter, butter soft, but it's soft enough that you want to get it out of the capsule bag. And yes, because the central endonucleus is small, this case, even though the rex is only about five millimeters, even a little irregular, you can still easily prolapse and safely prolapse the nucleus out of the capsule bag. You don't have to operate in the capsule bag. When the lens is on the soft side, sometimes it's tougher to operate within the confines of the capsule bag because you may damage that posterior capsule. And then what? So here comes a cohesive viscoelastic, getting a nice fill there in the anterior chamber, and more importantly, deepening up that capsule bag. We're gonna wait till the resident loads up the lens here. It's gonna be a single piece acrylic lens. We'll place that in the capsule bag. You know, a lot of res residents have, asking, have been asking, wait, should we do toric lenses right off the bat? You can do anything you want, but I'd start off with the basics. It doesn't make sense to put a torque lens in if you can't control your incision, you can't have a predictable astigmatic result, you're not tracking your post-op outcomes or even achieving the targets that you're aiming for. So wait, wait for it a little bit. Maybe get 50, 80, 100 cases done before you worry about torque lenses. You got to uh, crawl before you can walk, and you got to walk before you can run. So look at that rexus now. That's a 6 millimeter optic on the lens. That Rex is in one dimension is probably only four millimeters and the other is maybe about five and change. And still we're able to easily prolapse that nucleus out of the capsule bag in this case. So definitely soft posterior subcapsular cataracts. I th I'm telling you that your best move is prolapse it out of the bag. Get that thing in the safe zone. Now, I don't like that hydration of just the side walls of the incision because now look at the center of the main incision. It's the only part that's not hydrated. So maybe do a little more hydration there in the center of it. Let's see. It looks like it seals up anyway, but a lot to be learning here. So good job for this young resident for a, a nice looking case here and keep up the learning. Now go home at the end of this case, take your video, watch it, study it at home and make notes. What could I have done better? And that's how you learn.
Thanks for watching these videos. And remember to go to cataractcoach.com and sign up for a free daily email. We'll send you an email every day with a great video like this and other surgical pearls that'll make you a better surgeon.